Welcome to today's literacy session. Today you will need your yellow book, your scissors, your glue and your pencil too. You will also need this sheet which you will find in your resource pack with all the little characters from the story of the mitten. Hi, welcome to today's literacy session. Today we're going to be thinking about the mitten. You should have heard this story already. If you haven't, go back to yesterday's vlog and have a look on there. You should find a link to the story because you're going to need to know it for this activity today. Hopefully you'll remember something called story mapping. You might remember doing story mapping when we learned Jesus' Christmas party and the buffalo and you were excellent at it then. So you're going to have a go today with the story of the mitten. First of all, you'll need to cut out your little characters and the pictures that you might have seen in the story. And then, on a wiggly line in your book, you're going to place them, one after the other, in the correct sequence. While you're doing this, you could try and remember to tell the story. What was happening when the hedgehog was in it? What was happening to the mitten? Who was the next character? And what did they do? Have a go. Try your best. We can't wait to see it. For this activity, you can use a two-page spread in your yellow exercise book. Open it up and draw a wiggly line from the top to the bottom. The wiggly line represents the journey of the story. So once you've cut out your little character pictures, you can start to stick them on. As you can see, Mrs. Bracey has started with the mole, as this is the first character that we see in the story that gets inside the mitten. Now Mrs. Bracey has stuck on the rabbit, followed by the hedgehog. Whoa, stop there Mrs. Bracey. We need the children at home to try and remember the rest of the sequence for themselves. Now it's over to you. Have a go at creating your very own The Mitten story map. If you get in a muddle or get stuck at any time, don't worry, you can watch the story again using the link on the blog. Top tip. When gluing, put the glue on the back of the picture of the character, not all over your story map, because that might make it a bit sticky and messy. And if you're looking for a challenge to make that brain a little stronger, you could have a go at writing a few words on your story map, just like this one has here. When you have finished, your grown-up could take a picture and upload it for your teacher to see. Thank you for joining us again today. We can't wait to see some of your work. Good luck and try your best.